sweetheart, I'm only in town for a week. All I want is sex. I don't want anything else. I don't want to be dating. I don't. I want to have sex with you. That's it. You know, some they like some, but some they like for her. Yeah. You know, that's one when you do this together, <laughs> like did it, did it, you know, like similar salsa. Yes, of course. So it's um, yeah, it depends the taste what you have. Yeah. The reason is blacks guys come and want to have sex, go in different countries, place to have just sex with women. I understand this, guys. What's your experience with black Americans in general? Afro Americans? Okay. Doom, 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 yeah. doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Most Brazilians. Some women, Brazilian women, they are lazy. They don't like to <laughs> You know, they, yes. some Brazilian women, the guy go working and she's contact some delivery food <laughs> and he's have to pay for it. Oh my goodness, okay. The wow. Brazilian women have smell, bad smell down there. How do you feel about this idea of taking care of a man? Do you think as a woman, being submissive is a, is a problem? Or do you feel like, no, men and women are equal. Men should not expect women to cook or take care of them because they can get in that kitchen themselves and make their own food or cook for the whole family. How do you feel about this whole thing? You can date Brazilian woman for 10, 20 dollars. Are Brazilian men faithful, generally? Most Brazilian women, they are faithful. How about the men? <laughs> so guys, we are heading to the rooftop of the JW Marriott. Great location. If you've never been to Rio, good starting point. And uh, they have a beautiful rooftop, a nice view. And Renata is busy on her phone, but we're gonna get her talking today. We're gonna get her talking. Are you 100 percent black or are you mixed with uh, something else? My parents, my family, they are mixed. Black and white? Yeah, black and white. Wow. Okay. My mom, she's white. She's blonde. My dad, he's black. Are you identify as black? Black. Right. Right on. Have you been here before at the rooftop of the JW Maria? No. No? no. Well, welcome to the Maria. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit tricky conducting this interview because we can't have music. So it always has to be quiet, completely quiet. I wanted to get a drink just to kind of like set the vibe right, but Renata said no more drinking. No more. You guys already have a lot of fun. I can see it. <laughs> okay. I think we're here. I can see the night has not stopped for you guys. No, no, it did not. So guys, I'm here at the rooftop of this beautiful place by the name of the JW Marriott. I apologize, lighting is horrible here, but we got to stay away from music. <laughs> got to stay away from all the noise so I don't get copyrighted for this video. I'm lucky today to meet a lady that I have been very excited about meeting by the name of Renata, who has a YouTube channel herself. And she's sitting down with me today so we can talk about some of the contemporary issues, life in Brazil, and what's going on with this passport bro situation, man. It's crazy. So meet Renata. How you doing, Renata? Hi, guys. All right. I'm good, thank you. Yeah. So Renata, where are you from in Brazil? I'm from Rio de Janeiro. Rio? Yes. How long have you lived here? Your whole life? I was born in Rio. Yeah. I'm from Rio. Yes. Is this your is this your favorite place in Brazil? My favorite place in Brazil it's Salvador Bahia. Why? I lived there for three years and I really love there. You know, the best moments I have in my life it's there. Salvador. Yeah. Salvador. All right. I, I love Salvador as well. I think they have the best food in the country. Yeah. Like the food is just delicious. I love it yeah. so much. Yeah. yeah good yeah. good food good people same, same as in Rio yeah but there I don't know I feel like more um, home or safe yeah. more funny more peaceful you know yes yeah, yeah right on. it's really really nice it's like I live holiday life <laughs> always there, you know when I'm there Salvador is amazing so what about traveling what country have you been to outside of Brazil uh, I've been in Denmark, I've been in Mexico, I've been in uh, Germany, 
Germany, okay. Yeah, I live in the United States before for five years. Oh, nice. Yeah. What state? Um, in Florida. Did you like it? Really like it. Really, wow. I love it. Yeah. What is the biggest difference, you would say, between the United States and Brazil? The difference is, it's the culture. You know, Brazil, it's more, people are more uh, together. They are more party. Yes. And uh, we are spontaneous. Yes. Brazilian people, we are very spontaneous. Yes. And in the United States, it have a rules, have appointments, you know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Do you miss the U.S.? I miss the U.S. I miss my friends there. If you had a choice, would you live here or would you live in, in the U.S.? Uh, <laughs> both. <laughs> Because <laughs> times before, both, yeah, you know. yeah. Because the carnival here, oh my god, it's crazy. There's just so much going on, you know. Yeah, this year the carnival in Rio, it's not so good. Same as before. It's not as the good. The government this year they not invest a lot of money for the carnival wow. this year. Wow. So what you see this year, it's nothing compares before. Is that right? Yeah. Before the COVID, you know, the carnival, we have a two big concerts here. Yes. The street, it look like New Year. Yes. A lot of parades, car trucks pass. Yes. And almost every day. This time, we only have a couple days. Yes. And some small blocks. Yeah. You know, I know because I go out to record video for my channel. Yes. And I drone, try to get some good footage. Footage? Footage, yeah. Yeah, for my channel. Yeah. But it's not easy. When I see everything's already done, people's out in the street, the Brazilian people, they are like that. They, it's no music, it's no nothing there, but they want to play their own music and the phone and just continue it, the vibe, dancing, drink, yeah. have fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How about music? I have to tell you, if there's one thing that I don't like about Brazil, is the music. I just, I have a hard time because I, I love the country, you know, Colombia? Yeah. They play a lot of reggaeton. Yeah. And like, it's just such a sweet vibe to it. But here with the funk and the jazz, it's nice. But like, I feel like it doesn't give me the vibe as much. You know what I mean? It's just very different here. Yeah, the Brazilian music, we have many types of Brazilian music. Yeah. And many tourists, for hundreds, they like Brazilian music. <laughs> But different, uh, like not a reggaeton, not funky. <laughs> Yeah. You know, some they like samba, some they like forró. Yeah. You know, that's one when you do this together, <laughs> like, did it, did it, you know, like similar salsa. Yes, of course. So it's, um, yeah, it depends the taste, what you have. Yeah, yeah. Do you like reggaeton? I like reggaeton. Do you speak Spanish? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear the background. I don't understand the letter, what they say, what they mean. Yeah. But I listen to it. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, doom. yeah. And I go, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah, the rhythm is amazing. How about Afro beats? You know, music from Africa that's like blowing all over the radio right now. Maradona. Do you listen to any of them? Oh, I love it. Yeah? I love it. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, right. I don't sing in here now because I'm shy. <laughs> but I, I have already one in my head. Can yeah, go out. yeah, yeah, no, no, no doubt. Yeah, no, African music has come a long way. There was a time nobody was listening to it, and now it seems like everybody, you know, yeah, has at least one song. dancing. The dancing, the rhythm. The it's coming more and more. More and more popular. It's nice. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. So let's talk about food. I know Salvador has the best food in Brazil. If someone is watching this video and they've never been to Brazil, what would you recommend as far as like the best food? The best food? Steaks, besides steaks, you know, everybody knows Brazilian, the meat. Well, <laughs> if you're asking me, 
which type of food they supposed to be taste first, I recommend to go really nice steakhouse. Really nice steakhouse. I always say because it's I, I love steaks. Yeah. You know I love steak. I love everything. I love all kind of food. But um, just going to a nice steakhouse. Yes. Yeah, and um, also um, which one? Another one. <laughs> the seafood is also good. Depends the where you go. Yes. The seafood is so good. Yeah. Here. People make fun of me. They say you are in Brazil and you go to Fogo de Chão. Fogo de Chão is a chain. They have them in the U.S. They have them in many places. Is it the best steakhouse in Rio? They they say you can taste. Yeah, you taste different from there. Yeah, I don't think it's the same. But is it the best? Like if you were taking your family to dinner for steak, would you take them to Fogo de Chão, or where would you go? Um, if you, they want to go into the buffet, you know where they come with the steaks. Yes, yes. I suggest to go there. Really? Okay, good. Yeah. Before okay. I suggest to go into Porcão. That's very popular, even more popular than Fogo do Chão. Really? Okay. But then it's changed the manager, the bus. Yes. And then they changed the name, and now it's called Asador. Asador. But okay. the sieve is there, it's not the same as before. Yeah. So now they come with the meat, the things in the car, you know, and yes. also this, but not the same quality not the same as before. Quality. Okay. All right. It's in both Fogo. Yes. And uh, Fogo do Chão before it's not so good, but now it's much better. Yeah, I like. I it. recommend Fogo do Chão. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, would m most Brazilian women cook? Is it a thing here or not at all? Most Brazilian women cook. They do. Most Brazilian. Some women, Brazilian women, they are lazy. They don't like. To cook. <laughs> you know, they yes. some Brazilian women. The guy go working and she's contact some delivery food <laughs> and he's have to pay for it. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, some women they are lazy but less women. Yes, yes. Most they cook. Yes. There is a battle going on in the United States right now. <laughs> and I don't know how long it's been going on but it's a battle, right? You have women who have entered the job market. As a result, in, in today's America, women are as busy as men there was a time where the men were the the providers they would go out and get the money get the bacon like they say right but today what you have is women are going to school they're getting degrees they're getting employed they're getting money they're getting as much money as men in some cases and they are busy as a result they're no longer able and do not want to be told to cook or take care of a man so comes this issue called being submissive meaning you basically take care of your man right and it's a big big thing so you have more and more American males regardless of the color traveling to other countries to find a woman who is quote-unquote submissive a woman who doesn't mind cooking for them <laughs> a woman who doesn't mind taking care of them and being sweet and loving a lot of americans are talking about being feminine right right and you used to live in the u.s you live in brazil you are a very popular youtuber and you're getting bigger what is and now you're a, a tour guide as well you provide tours in the city how do you feel about this idea of taking care of a man do you think as a woman being submissive is a is a problem or do you feel like no men and women are equal men should not expect women to cook or take care of them because they can get in that kitchen themselves and make their own food or cook for the whole family how do you feel about this whole thing well just for a start you know i have one son and i have two daughters okay I can trick my son to go out and work and fix the house, the garden. Yes. And I trick my daughter, I teach my daughter, not trick, but teach them. Right. My daughter to cook, to clean the house. Yes. You know, and um, he's take care of us. He's really worried. He's 12 years old. He's yes. Already show his, you know, because men, they want to take care of the woman. Right. And I can see that out for my son. My yes. son, he's 12 years old. He's wanted to take care of me, my mom, and my the sisters. <laughs> yeah. So I see the men, they want to take care of the women. They want to go out. They want to afford the house. They want to afford, you know, the things. 
but some women they they want to be more independent because yes. also because some men's faults yes you know like let's say my situation i married a couple times before yes you know one officially married the other ones i only live together yeah and when i get after married i don't get nothing i only have my kids when i move out yeah then i need to look myself now what i going to do yeah. i spend years next to him and now we're not together anymore so now i'm out only with my kids yes no have house yeah. no have a business no have nothing yes you know so the women they try to be more independent because sometimes uh let's say when your relation is not working you know or some men they take care of themselves they pay for the bill they pay everything in the house but they don't pay for the girl go to the gym they don't pay for the good doing her nail polish yes. they don't pay for she doing her you know yes. going to the shopping yes. some men they don't do things yes. like that not yeah. all you know but women they like that they want to do in the hair especially because the media on the internet yes. now people they just try to show even everything, everything. if you have everything. a nice place with food take picture post there yes of course you know oh yes. nails look my nails yes oh my hair of you course. know so of course. the women they want to take care more themselves and yes. some men they not afford the things yes they afford the house but they don't have condition also to afford her yes and her buildings yes. you know herself so. yeah maybe i think yeah because some women they show many videos they say why i need men i can i, I can have do my this own I have my own hair building. Yes. You know, where she's have her own business. She pay the gym. She have everything for herself. Yes. She don't need men for, you know, for doing this thing. For do anything, yeah. And that's the that independence that I'm talking about is this idea that okay, I don't need you. I can take care of it myself. It's because sometimes the men they they complain when the woman wants spend money. You know, they need to sit. They need to agree about expensive. Yes. Yeah. But some men, they, they, oh, I need to do it my nails. They complain. But who makes the decisions in the Brazilian relationship, generally speaking? Is the man the, the head or are they equal or is the woman in charge? Like, who? In Brazil, most of the time, the women are in control. Women in control in Brazil? In Brazil, yes. Really? Yes. Okay. They only uh, let the, the guy... He's like, let's say the guy is the boss. Yeah. But the woman's control everything. Yeah. You know, she's take care of the house, she's take care of everything around, and he's only work. Yeah. So when it's something serious, then she's come to him and yeah. inform him, tell him yes. what happens. And he's the one decides the big things. Yes. But the other things, she's decide, you know, yeah. what to do because she's in home, she's doing things all the time, she sees things happen. Yeah. So most of the times, Brazilian women stay in control. Okay. Uh, would you say Brazilian men are faithful? Is it expected here? Because everybody knows there are a lot of beautiful women in this country. So many people, when they come here the first time, they are shocked about how attractive Brazilian women can be. Are Brazilian men faithful, generally? Most Brazilian women, they are faithful. How about the men? <laughs> That's the point where some Brazilian women, they're not faithful. You know, because we are faithful, but if we know something is wrong, then we not faithful anymore. You understand? Wow. We but just pay back. You just pay back. So that's why Brazilian women, they are not faithful for that side. So are people still getting married in this country or is it becoming less and less popular? Uh, in Brazil, uh, it's not about married anymore. Before people, they get married, but now we just put all things together and just live together. Okay. Married in Brazil, for some persons, it's not more like that important. Yes. You know, people yeah. just, okay, bring your things, I bring my things, and we live we together. We live together, yeah. yeah. We share the bills and everything. Okay. Now, speaking about you personally, do you prefer, let's not talk about status, but just in general, let's assume you're single. Do you prefer to date 
a foreigner or if you are single or if you're not single, whatever. If if the situation comes where you have a choice between a Brazilian man and a foreigner, what would you prefer? Foreigners. Let's assume you're single. Foreigners. You prefer a, a foreigner? Yeah. Why? <laughs> they are more kind. They care more. I think they, they are American men. They take care more the women than Brazilian guys. Of course, some Brazilian guys, they, they take care of the women a lot. Some take care a lot. But um, American men, I think, they take care more. They take care more. But it's not mean they are very good, you know? <laughs> Let me hear this. When you say American men, right? Are you talking about black men, white men, Asian men? What race are you referring to when you say American men? Uh, I talk about the mates, the whites, and well, the black and men. Black. Yeah. Okay. What's your experience with black Americans in general, Afro Americans? Okay. White American. That's my first husband. Oh, I have a wonderful, good time with him. Yes. The reason we separate, it's different plans for our life. Yes. We just change plans, yes. you know. And uh, black men, they play games. <laughs> okay. They play games. I've been in a relation four months with one guy. I suspicious he's have somebody. I say, tell me, he's living in Washington, D.C. I say, tell me, you have somebody. You have a date, it's okay, tell me the truth. And he said, no, you crazy, you crazy. And then I found out later, after four months, he's married. Oh no, but that's one person. And he said, oh, I'm going to divorce with her. Please yeah. don't leave me. Okay. Yeah. It's a one year ago and he's still married. Wow, I'm sorry to hear this. Yeah. But that's one person. That's uh, one guy, yes. yes. Yeah, I have other guys also, you know, they say, oh, I don't have kids, I want to be with one woman, <laughs> and uh, I want to have more, I want to have kids, I don't have kids, and then when I see it, the guy have kids, wow. he's married. So many guys, they come here and they play games and they don't have to, you know, Can just, just be honest. About honest. It. Yeah, and I'm not speaking for all men when I say this, but I think one of the struggles... Some women, they accepted married men. Right. If you afford her, yeah. she accepted your wife, right. you and the kids and their buddy. Yeah, I, I can't speak family. for all American men, but I think the struggle that a lot of Americans have is that they feel that if they are honest about the situation, like, listen, sweetheart, I'm only in town for a week. All I want is sex. I don't want anything else. I don't want to be dating. I don't. I want to have sex with you. That's it. If they tell you this, that you're not going to be interested in them, because of course they're turning you into an object, right? So they have to lie to you and make you feel special or that they are special in order for you to warm up to them. I'm not making excuses for what they're saying, but it's very difficult for a lot of guys to just be honest about it. Because generally speaking, in the US, if you just say that, <laughs> that's it that's the end right but in Brazil it's very different I think Brazilian women in my experience are as sexual as men they're not afraid to express that sexuality they're not afraid to ask for it and I think a lot of people are not used to that so they just feel better lying so that every time they come in Brazil they can spend time with you again yeah right <laughs> In Brazil and Mexico, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or ever have to go or stay. Yes. Yeah, some American guys. Yeah. Lying. So tell me, what's your experience with African American men in general? Uh, I'm just get to one point. I can believe. I can trust. I don't trust men anymore because they disappointed. I have before. Wow. You know, I need to go into psychologist. One ex mine, he say he's very kind to me. He's very good, and he's just say, Renata, please go into psychologist because you're not going to work in a relationship with nobody. You're too much suspicious. Yes. You're too much. But that's the consequence the men's make to me before. Yes. Also, the father for my young daughter. You know, he's he's an internet. He's look girls. He's talk with girls, and I think, okay, fine. It's all about the internet. It's not physic. But one day he's leave home, stay. After five years together, he's leaving home, stayed three nights in a hotel, and I say, okay, now it's done. I not accept it. Wow. Now it's physic. Now everything's changed for me. And yes. I move out. Yeah. 
I move out with my kids with nothing. Yeah. You know, need to start the life and what I get for, for work, for yeah. job. Yeah. You know, so uh, that's what I say. In some points, the women, they want to be independent. They want to make their own, you know, uh, building for conditions to yeah. not depend on the men because yeah. they know if something something happens later if the men go with other woman or they separate they have she have a place to go she have a, her own job you know yes so and then it's good also because then when you have a wife she's dependent yes it's for one side it's good because you know she's with you because she's like you not because your money yes yeah wow and um, I don't want to talk about, I don't want to mention the person's name, but there was a, a YouTuber here who unfortunately did some really videos that were perceived as very negative. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. And now this whole thing of passport bro came out. And personally, as a black person, I don't travel for sex. I love traveling. I've been to many countries. Well, I was not seeking sex at all, you know, and I love just exposing myself to different cultures. I love it. I'm originally from Cameroon, and I moved to the U.S. when I was young, and I just love the ability with my U.S. passport to go to many countries without requesting a visa. And now with this YouTube thing, I feel the drive to even travel more than ever before. So personally, I'm offended when people say, oh, black men only travel for sex. Because many people do travel for sex, whether they're black, white, Asian, whatever. It's not a black man problem. It is a personal preference. And I don't care what people choose to do when they are on vacation. That's their choice. But I know you were interviewed by this person. And as a YouTuber, I was a little bit nervous coming to Brazil. Because I didn't know, can I still go out there, pull out my camera, talk to you? Right. I don't know, because... Are we gonna be? Am I gonna be attacked? Are people gonna be angry at me? I don't know. But like this situation has turned into something very negative. Yeah. Um, what has been your experience with this thing? And what is your word to anyone who, you know, is black from America? Because we are targeted. I don't like to pick races like that. But when they say passport bro, they are referring to black American males. Mm -hmm. So, what is your response to this whole situation? Given your own personal experience with this person. Oh, no, I a little bit misunderstand what's the... The question? Yeah. No, like, um, is it still okay for black American men to come to this country? And what is your experience with that guy yeah. that interviewed you? Uh, that's exactly what you say, you know, you're afraid. Yes. And you guys don't have to be afraid because you're not him. You understand? Yes. You are you. Yes. So you not make wrong, nothing wrong. Yes. So it's no reason for you stop to come to Brazil. Yeah. And enjoy and vacation. Yes. So and uh, the reason this blacks guys come and want to have sex, go in different countries, place to have do sex with women. I understand these guys for one side, you know. But if they are single, because they some guys. Some women, they give headache to the men, you know? Yes. Some women asking for, please punch me, I deserve. <laughs> so, and these men, they, they want to go out from headache. Yes. So they go out, they, they want to look for some Carisians, one woman who take care, give attention, yes. you know, feel a little bit of love, attention for some woman. And what they don't get there yes so if they want to go out just for have sex just for have fun just be single and doing all their things then yes. you don't have headache no nothing but if they are married i i not agree yeah you want them to I say i'm married you know be honest about the situation if you're not happy in your marriage and your relation it's better if you even need to lose your pants when you divorce lose everything but make sure lay to your construction everything again but you are happy yes yeah yeah wow so and about the this guys coming to brazil and doing some youtube yeah i have experience with one guy uh, i feel a little bit uncomfortable 
people's comments this and his uh, page also she's not look comfortable and some people they think I'm lying because I take a long time to answer but I'm not lying I'm very true honest person yes so the only thing I feel uncomfortable it's because I told him no asking some thought them things some kind of questions. yeah some kind of questions because now in the relation the relationship is not good maybe tomorrow we're not together anymore right. and uh, my privacy life it's nothing with what I do yes. you know for my channel and I just come I drive two hours just for explain that yeah and he's doing upset and I don't understand why he asked me Brazilian women they have smell down there what he said that yeah he asked and I, I can send you the video and show. He asked wow. Brazilian women have smell, bad smell down there. Wow. I don't lie. Not only in Brazil, all over in the world. If the woman not to care themselves, of course they have this smell. Right. If they don't go into gynecologist, if they don't don't clean themselves, you know, because also these things come in a man inside the woman, if it stay there, it smell. Right. So, if the woman wants to care herself, of course, have some smell. That's why I say, when he say, oh, Brazilian woman have a smell, and I say, no, I don't say all oh, Brazilian women. I yes. say feel, you know, yeah. some Brazilian Or the one that he dealt with. Huh? Or the woman that he dealt with. Dealt? But he cannot speak like that about all Brazilian women. That's crazy. Almost. Almost, and I told him, wait, I don't want, I don't talk to general, you know, and I don't yeah. talk about all the Brazilians. Yeah. So you were not comfortable with that question, and he still posted that. Yeah, he still posted. Later, I call, talk to him. I say, why you did it? He's not have an answer. Did he apologize to you? He stay quiet. He didn't say anything. Just listen. Yeah. Because I know he was, um, he had to leave this country as a result of that whole situation. And some people want to kill him. <laughs> it's a very serious problem now. And uh, I was just curious if he had a chance to say, I'm sorry to you, among all the other women that he may have. That's maybe... what I told him to do it. Yeah. And he didn't, he didn't apologize. He did it. I told him, listen, because he's uh, not doing really bad you know yes. something people they misunderstand what he's trying of to course, say of course of course when he say uh you can date brazilian woman for 10 20 dollars you know he's yeah. mean you don't need to spend so much money for exactly date with brazilian there's a lot of misunderstanding woman. in the united states you go and date with uh, american women you need to pay like hundred dollar three hundred dollar for one simple date dinner or, yeah yeah you spend a lot of money. Yes. In Brazil, you can, you know, we are so friendly. We are That's so true. kind, women. Yes. yes. You don't have to spend this much no. money to, no. to a date. Yes. Just sit there, you know, in a, in a restaurant, just have one drink together yes. and talk. Yes. So that's what he's mean yes. about the date Brazilian women and for 10 or There was 20. a lot of misunderstanding with that situation too. Yeah, right. So I told him what you have to do and what you're doing wrong is when you talk about woman, you talk in a general. Yes. You need to learn, you need to understand, you need to be careful. When you talk about women, not all the women are the same. Nope. And of course, I agree with this Brazilian woman come to the media and doing what she have to do because somebody have to stop him. Of course. He's not supposed to be put all the Brazilian women's general they are easy. Because we're not easy. If you go out in the street, if you go there and there, we're not easy. No, it depends on the person. You can't generalize like right. that. Right. Even right. in the US, some women are, you know, quote unquote easier than others. It, it depends on who you're dealing with. It also depends on where you live, quite frankly, because the US is a big country. And um, some states, you know, people are more open-minded than others, you yeah. know, so I don't like generalization myself. It's like people say, oh, black men are like this, or black men are like that. Yeah. We're not the same. Just because we, especially a guy like me, like I'm black from Africa. <laughs> Many times I, I look at my Afro-American friends, we have nothing in common except the color of our skin, you know. So people generalize so much, you know. But let's move away from this. Let me ask you some general questions. If a man is interested in you, right? Let's say you being a general average um, uh, Brazilian woman and he wants to take you on a date. Who's supposed to pay for that date? 
man or the woman? In, in, in Brazil, what is the expectation? If uh, the man take me to date? Yes. On the first day, he say, I like you. Maybe he met you on Tinder or whatever website out there. And you go out and you eat. Who's supposed to pay for that date? The man or the woman? What's the expectation? To pay for the date? Yes. It uh, so depends on the woman. It Some women, they pay half and half. They, her pay, like me, I pay for my bill for what I have, what I eat, what I drink. Yes. And the men pay for him. Yes. You know? Yes. But it's if you invite me to dinner, then it's different. You invite me for dinner. <laughs> then you have to pay for it. They meet you on Tinder. So you also, uh, you were interested enough that you came to meet them. If you say, come and meet me in a bar, in this place. Yeah. You know, it's not me you go to pay her drink. Maybe yes. she's pay her own drink. Right. Because you know, say I invite you to drink yes. or to eat. Yes. You know, so yeah. some Brazilian women they pay for themselves. Yes. Is that the rule generally speaking? No, most they don't. Mostly is the men paying. The men pay. Okay. Okay. Most the men pay. Yeah. Is there an expectation to have sex after two dates? Three dates, one date, what is the general rule? When a woman they are single, the first day, if she's like you, the first day. First day, okay. If she's like you, she don't have no more time to, to spend or to erase her time. <laughs> she just go there. Okay, so let's talk about polygamy. I'm from Africa, Cameroon in particular. And in my country, it is not an it's a common thing, not by everyone, but people can have more than one wife. But you have to ask permission from the first wife if she can enter a polygamy or a monogamy. In Brazil, I know you cannot have two wives. But given that there are so many attractive people here, men and women alike, how do Brazilian women feel about having a husband who has a girlfriend or Things like that. Have one guy, he's fast before, he's have eight wives in Brazil. <laughs> eight wives. But he's have condition. Money, 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 money. Okay. He's have condition. Yeah. If you have conditions, you can have ten wives in Brazil. And the girls are okay with that? If you afford, oh yeah. But one thing is for sure. They also have somebody else and you never know. Of course. They're always tearing you in the back. A Brazilian woman faithful. Huh? A Brazilian... Sorry, I know you're interviewing. Can yes. I ask you a question? Yes. If I'm trying to meet someone, how would I, how would I go about doing it? Would you recommend? Can, can I finish the interview first? Oh, yeah. My okay. friend is over there. He can tell you more about it, if you don't mind. Because I don't want to oh. interrupt this. It's going to be a while? Yeah, could be. Okay. Yeah. I'll catch you later. Um, so... A Brazilian woman faithful. That's what I say. Brazilian women, they are faithful to a certain point yes. if you are faithful to her. But if something is a misunderstand, then she's just, if she's love you, she's don't care. If you're being <laughs> faithful to her, she's going to be faithful to you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, you are mixed, but you identify as black, right? What is life like for you here being a black Brazilian? The reason I'm asking you this is because I've been to this country many times. But when I hang out, I go to different bars and restaurants here, I do not see Afro-Brazilians. I see foreigners and I see Caucasians people, white people. How is your life here as a black woman in Brazil? This is the biggest issue. Do you feel comfortable here? Or do you feel like this country is, has a lot of racist issues? No, in Brazil we have racism. Yeah. But not too much, not compared out from Brazil. Yeah. Not compared to Europe, not yeah. compared to United States, yes. you know. Because Brazil it's a mix. That's yeah. why we don't have this bond. I, I have only one time, you know, in my daughter's school. Yes. And uh, the privacy school. Yes. I have one time people say. Yes. But it's not all the time you can see, you know, or you can hear. Yeah. 
because Brazil it's a mix yeah. for all the culture and everybody around the world. Yes. I just say, especially Rio. Rio it's a mix for of Salvador, course. Bahia, Sao Paulo, American, Chinese, Japanese. Oh and yeah, the, all the everybody's here. here. Yes. Italian, uh, Germany. Amazing culture. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So, in the U.S., blacks don't feel that they are treated equally. They feel like they are treated lesser than. Is it the same thing here? Do you feel like you get treated the same way than you would if you were, let's say, white? I I I don't feel different. You don't feel the difference. So that's that's exactly what my point was. I think, from what I see, black and white and everybody in between here gets along very well. And the biggest issue from what I've observed is with the police. The police has, um, according to the statistic, they treat people here of color really, really badly. Yeah. Have you had any bad encounters? No, no, not with the police. But the police, uh, I understand a little bit. Because um, most of the, the, the guys, they, you know, they are dark skin. They are black. Yeah. So, and it's not different for the United States. Yes. You know, the police yeah. office here. Yeah. Compared to there about black people. Yes. It's not different. It's not different? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Now, just to conclude, what is one thing you really like about your country and one thing you really do not like about your country? One thing I like about my country, Yes. it's the, the peoples here. Amazing. The culture, the, uh, you know, they are very kind. Yes. They are very help, help person, you know. Yes. When you have a problem, we are there for help you. There. Yeah, it's a. I think the person. Yes. The personality for everybody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, Renata now offers tours as well in Rio. She also has a YouTube channel. If you're watching this and you're interested, she's very open-minded now. She's busier and busier. But she, if you're in Brazil and you're a content creator or just want to do a tour, she offers them as well. How can people get a hold of you, Renata? How can what? people contact you? Oh, they can contact me on Instagram. On Instagram, what is your Instagram? It's I'm gonna uh, put it like right here. Yeah, it's same from the, the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It's Brazil, Brazil with Renata Lopes. Brazil with Z, Brazil with S. Yes. With Renata Lopes. All right, sounds good. What is your channel about? My channel is about uh, uh, I show the guys, you know, things to do when they come to Rio. You know, place to go, let's say Monday night, boring, they think have nothing to do in Rio. <laughs> or, you know, some guys, they spend too much money in the boat party. I show the video, you can spend like $15 for for party, boat party. And um, restaurants, you know, where you can eat for cheap. Because I know many people, they don't have conditions. Yes. You know, they don't have condition to stay in expensive hotel or to pay like uh, spend like 200 real every day to eat the food. Yes. You know, two, three times a day. So then I show things for help. Yes. You guys. Yes. So what is your ultimate goal with YouTube? What do you want people to learn from watching your videos? Yeah. I don't want to they learn, you know. Yes. I want they they watching, give yes. them some ideas. Yes. But to learn, you know, they only have their own experience when they came. Yes. So I just doing my part. My part is just to show things to enjoy, to do in Rio. Yes. You know, food, place to go, and uh, a lot of things. I also want to show the culture. Same I talk with about racism, what Brazilian women think about men, and what men, Brazilians men think about Brazilian yes. women. So I I just want you guys 
get a little bit known about yeah the, yes. the, the things yes but for the experience you know possible have the experience in my channel and on body channels yes the only experience you have is you come to brazil and live your own moment your own experience All you right. don't found your experience in it sounds good and if somebody comes here and they want to do a tour how can so they just contact you on instagram right now to do the tours yeah, they need to contact me in Instagram. Yes. And I only give my WhatsApp for who's it's already here. It's yes. already booked yes. to go into tour. With All right. Me. Yes. So that's the only reason I'm uh, allowed to give my. All right. Well, Renata, WhatsApp. thank you so much for your time. I know you are busy. Choose to sit down with me today to talk about these issues. Thank you so much. I'm gonna post your channel on the description. I'm gonna put it on everything. And I want you to blow up, you know? You're doing a really good job. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. I appreciate for this interview. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give many likes to him. Subscribe in his channel. Follow him on Instagram. Very good interview. Yes. And uh, now we leave. We All drink right. something. Have fun. Have fun. Let's Peace go. Peace guys. Ciao. Bye. Guys, so from Brazil, Renata is the best. Check her out. If you're a content creator, she's very open-minded to sit down with you guys and talk. So this is Renata right here in person. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Thank you. Ciao. Nice.